Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in interior walls. And then we added some of the doors for interior, main, and then the closet doors. Here, we're going to continue working on this. And then we actually added the garage door as well. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the toilet. So let's go to insert, load family, and then go back here. We need to go to plumbing, architectural, fixture, and then here we have our water closet which have our toilet. So after that, after you load that, go to architecture and then click on component. We'll be able to add the toilet right here. After that, let's go back again to insert, load family, and then let's add in some sink. So we have our vanity square right here. Let's use this. Open, go to architecture, and then component. Let's add our sink right here. And that's uh, good. We could nudge this one at the top. So just your arrow key will be enough. You can always drag it, but this one will be better if you just use your arrow key. So this one's done. What we can add is some of our furniture. So let's go to insert load family and then go back and look for furniture. Let's add our tables first. So I'm gonna add this coffee table our dining table. So I'm just looking around. So I'm going to use table dining round with chairs first. So I'm loading that and then clicking on component. This will be our breakfast nook. So by changing the diameter, you can actually add or make it bigger. Let's go and insert again. Let's go to our dining table and then go to architecture component. I'm going to click on spacebar to change orientation for this. So I'm going to put it like that. Press escape. And then let's insert the coffee table. And the coffee table would be on this area. Press escape. And then we could change the dimension of that. So coffee table will be like this. So now we can go to insert again. What we forgot to add is the door for our um, exit here so that we could go to our backyard so i'm gonna add a sliding door glass so we need to go back to doors residential and then let's look for a sliding door 
glass. So let's go back here and it's probably right here. Okay, so let's use this sliding door. Let's load everything up and then go back to architecture and then door. So we added this and then by escaping and then clicking it again, we could change the size. So around 2,800. And then we could add it somewhere here. Now let's load more. Let's go to our furnitures again. And let's go to our seating. Let's load this one, our sofa. So I'm going to add it right here. And I'm going to click here and nudge it back. Okay. And then let's go to insert again and load the same one, but the chair only. So I'm loading it individually. The reason for that is so that we could click it again and place it right here. I don't want to keep on looking because there's a lot that we loaded already. So if you load multiple times or multiple family, you will need to keep on looking for that here. So this is the way I would like it depends on you if you want to do the same thing as well. So here we have the two chairs. Okay. So insert. Let's go and look for the chair. So I will use this chair. And then after that go to component so it's actually already loaded so we just need to look for it so it's right here and we just need to add three here and the one at the top right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of this and use mirror I'm gonna click here and then use this mirror look for the midpoint right here and you'll be able to add it equally there so let's go back to insert and load family we should add in Go back to tables and let's add in some nightstand. Click it here. I'm just going to add a nightstand right here. And maybe on this spot only. And then go back again. Let's add in the TV and the stand. So let's add the stand first. So I'm going to add the stand. 
and then nudge it a little bit to go inside go to insert again load family and then the flat screen use spacebar to change orientation press escape we need to move it up so 650 around 600 to 650 and then change the size the bigger the better go to insert let's add in some lights so go back and then go to lighting architectural let's go internal and we have some table lamp here so i'm going to use this one to put it here i'm going to change the elevation to 600 and then add it here at the center and then let's load more i want a floor lamp so there's some floor lamp right here i'm gonna use this one with the arm extension and then press open and click it there and then we're just gonna change this one so i'm gonna click and then click on rotate or ro and just do this instead okay so i want to zoom out and then maybe we could add in a bench here for our mud room so let me look into our furniture and our seating so we have a bench here that we could use and that's good enough for here and then th there should be like cold tang here and then some shoe um, drawers here or um, shoe organizer so it looks good um, we can actually go and look for a window so we might insert and load some families under windows so it's all the way down and then we could look for some windows right here that will be good for our design single triple triple awning so what I'm gonna load is this triple awning and then the single so I'm gonna load this first and let's load everything and then go to architecture and then click on window it will appear I'm gonna add it right here and then once we add it we could change the dimensions so maybe we will have it as this big so the one below that and then oops and then we could actually copy this and then add one right here on the left side of here
after that let's go back to insert and then lo load the similar one but the single so it doesn't matter which one I'll do the single left and I'm gonna use all of them or load all of them after that go to windows and we're going to add one here and then we're gonna individually change that afterwards i'm gonna add one here i'm going to add one here as well make sure it faces the right orientation and then one right here so for this one we should go to 450 by 750 but it looks so small I'll do 600 by 900 okay so I'm gonna add it right there for this let's go with nine hundred by nine hundred or actually so I'll be I'll go back here I might change this one so I'm gonna delete this and then here I'm gonna copy the same one as this so this will be 600 by 900 and then this we could go different as well let's go 750 by 900 and I'm gonna move it around here so that's perfect so here let's load another one maybe another triple because we added this one maybe I could add this one instead so the triple and then go back to architecture and then window and let's add one right here and let's change this I want to see what we added here it's 1500 2150 by 1500 and then we added 1550 by 1500 <coughs> so I'm happy with that so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.